Hey friends and young people, have you ever wondered what it's like to be an intern at Microsoft? Well, interns here contribute to production software and they inspire new ideas and we're going to meet three interns who are working on the Azure Container Registry and contributing to ACR build and task capabilities to the VS Code Docker extension today on Azure Friday. Hey friends, I'm Scott Hansman and it's another episode of Azure Friday. I'm here with Jackson and Ruthu and Esteban. How's it going, interns? It's going really well. well. How are you? I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. You're here on Azure Friday. This is the most people I've ever had on one episode of Azure <laughs> Friday. So I'm not quite sure how it's going to work, but it's pretty fantastic. So you are coming out of the end of uh, what, a 12 week internship, Esteban? Uh, yes, we've got two and a half weeks left. Uh, started. June 16th, I think. We end uh, September 7th. Okay. And are you expected to uh, to accomplish something in those 12 weeks and actually ship something, Ruthu? Are you supposed to hand them code at the end of goodbye and here's the code? Yeah. So basically, we're part of the Explorer program, which okay. was four weeks of program management and then eight weeks of development. Oh, wow. So in the first four weeks, we were just tasked to make a whole spec and just kind of figure out the technology. And then the last eight weeks, we we do have a project, which we'll get into a little bit later, and mm -hmm. we will be delivering code. In fact, since it's open source, we've already pushed some of it out. All right, rock on. Yeah. And Jackson, what, uh, what, what, what grade are you all in? Is this, are you sophomores, juniors in college, and where did you go to school? Yeah, so the program that we're actually working in is primarily uh, geared toward rising juniors and sophomores. Okay. So I'm a rising sophomore, they're a little bit older as rising juniors. Okay. And what, did you all go to the same school, and how did you get picked? Uh, I go to the University of Washington. I go to Cal California Polytechnic State University in mm -hmm. San Luis Obispo. Well, that's like the, <laughs> the long, long, long Yes. Year. And I go to Stanford. Uh huh. And did you apply, and did you like beat out like thousands of other people, or how did becoming an intern happen? Uh, well, that's a great question. I don't know how many <laughs> people we beat. If we beat any, um, we did do some application. At least me personally, I first had a face-to-face -face interview. Then we were flown out to do a actual technical interview. Mm -hmm. And then from there on, we would actually do, um, yeah, we would actually told whether we got in or not. Mm -hmm. So it was what kind of a process? It wasn't, uh, it was like multiple steps to make this happen. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. And then and my process was just a little, little bit different because I'm a returning intern. So I kind of just had like one interview. Oh, I, I see. Because you were yeah. cleared from the previous time. Yeah. Okay. And did you know each other before or were you like forced into a group? Yeah, we didn't know each other before. Mm -hmm. um, I'm really glad I got to know them, though. I think yeah. um, we definitely got along really well and definitely stay friends after this internship. Yeah, a yeah. big part of software that people don't really realize, I think, when they get started, is it's a, as much getting along with people and communicating mm -hmm. effectively with people mm -hmm. as opposed to trying to show up and like be the smartest person in the room. Yeah, that's one of the cool things about like the actual teamwork aspect of the Explore program is because mm -hmm. we're in a pod, um, there's a lot of, A, like accountability that we have for each other, but also support, which is awesome as young interns. That's cool. Did you have any like, negative experiences, or did you find that most people were pretty cool? That one was pretty nice in terms of negative experiences. I, Other than uh, well, we brought some gummies in and, <laughs> and uh, brought five pounds. And so other than Jackson eating all the candy? Yeah, that have <laughs> gone. Yeah, in terms of interacting with people outside our pod and our team, I would say the experience has been great. I'm really uh, grateful that we could we were able to contact like anyone in the company and they came for a one-on-one -on -one lunch with us. Seriously? That's something I didn't expect coming into such a big company, but I got to meet with so many people one-on-one -on -one and yeah. Yeah, we've great. heard a bit about like the intern card that you can pull and it's <laughs> actually <laughs> incredible how much we can pull it and how much it works. Okay, what, what, is, what is the intern card and can I pull that? <laughs> <laughs> is it too late? <laughs> no, it might be a little bit late, but it's just everybody's just trying to help you. Mm. Um, be it, you know, like when you say you're an intern, they're like, can I connect you with someone? Can I give you new resources? Which is something that nobody has to do but it seems like everybody goes above and beyond to help us, which That's is awesome. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we can actually schedule the weekly meetings to like actually um, meet with other employees. Uh, there's also weekly meetings with like some of the uh, VPs and stuff. Yeah, there's a program called Lunch and Learn, and we got to sit down with a couple um, executives and mm -hmm. people like that. What does that feel like when you are in your early 20s and you're meeting someone that like has a Wikipedia page? Or is like a VP. Are you initially thinking this is like a big deal, and then you're like, oh, well, this is just another human. Yeah, you come in thinking, wow, um, and then you leave like, wow, but this guy's cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's definitely intimidating at first, but once you go in the room, they're like, hey, what's up? Like, and it's just really casual, and um, 
yeah, I think this definitely made me more willing to talk to whoever I want to. Yeah. 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 I would say that one thing that definitely shows is the humanity of the company. Mm -hmm. um, it definitely keeps things casual. Yeah. Yeah, and that definitely makes it better when you're talking to people who are higher up. That's cool. So let's see what you all build. You brought a, like a demo for me here? Oh, yes. Um, so we're working on a VS, on a VS Code extension called a Docker extension. Oh, okay. sweet. You look there, and I'll look up at the TV over there. Perfect. Uh, so the Docker extension uh, that we're working on is a open source extension that Microsoft has been working on just to facilitate the use of uh, Docker and other technologies. Uh, we've implemented stuff to improve to improve uh, communication with the Azure Container Registries, which we usually now do through the Azure CLI. Mm -hmm. And so we've added a lot of management features and other such things. Okay. Yeah, so ACR, or Azure Container Registries, is basically Azure's way of uh, managing and hosting Docker images. Mm -hmm. So uh, like Esteban mentioned, we made a lot of management tools so that users find it easier and have a one-stop shop for everything right here in the extension. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, I'm already logged into Azure here. So okay. that's why this Azure node is popping up under Registries. And if I right-click it, I can create a new registry. I'll choose a subscription. And you can either create a new resource group or select an existing one and have a new um, registry name. So demo channel 9, yay. And then um, choose a service provider, a location. Mm -hmm. And with that, we've now successfully made a registry. And mm -hmm. once it refreshes, it'll pop up right here. So in that case, you're doing the stuff that I would do ordinarily from the command line, except right. I didn't have to remember anything complicated. Exactly. And what language is this written in? TypeScript. Oh, OK, cool. Yeah. So TypeScript. And were you JavaScript people before? Um, no. So that's actually <laughs> definitely one of the learning curves that uh, at least I faced. OK. Um, because especially because I'm younger, I uh, was unfamiliar with a lot of the both processes, languages, everything that we're kind of doing here. OK. Um, but again, uh, we were allowed ramp up. Mm -hmm. which definitely helped to make us confident with the tools we're using. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I understand that the CLI is written in Python, but you didn't really have to do much in Python. Is that true? Uh, we haven't actually touched Python. We've had to read a lot of Python to mm. re-implement some of the features from here. Mm -hmm. But we haven't actually written any Python with the, during this internship. Were you familiar with Visual Studio Code before you started this process, or were you doing different editors? I used VS Code just in my last uh, quarter of school, mm -hmm. but I wasn't aware of all the like debugging features and just a lot of little things which I found here, and I'm definitely going to tell everyone in my class to use <laughs> it now. Um, you're, you might be young enough that you don't necessarily remember like old Microsoft and how we were like so totally evil and <laughs> like you know we hated everyone and we killed you know small animals and stuff. <laughs> but uh, is there any sense of like Microsoft? Uh, new Microsoft, old Microsoft, cloud Microsoft, and these thing kind of things? Or do you all think about big companies in that way, like Google and Facebook and Microsoft and Apple, et cetera? Um, so at, at least in me and my personal experience, I was always kind of a Microsoft fanboy, mostly because I was an Apple not lover mm -hmm. <laughs> at all. Um, but I have seen a huge change. So at least, at least in terms of open source, I, I mean, I never expected we'd actually be working on an open source project. That's a good point. Was this committed into GitHub? Oh, yeah. This stuff is uh, currently some of the stuff is in a pull request and mm -hmm. other such stuff. We're, we're getting a lot of it implemented, but some of our code's already published. And um, well, the extension has 4.4 million users at the moment. So this extension that you're working on has 4 million, 4.4 4. 4 million users. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you're improving an existing extension and adding even new, more functionality? And that's living in a pull request right now and soon to be live. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you didn't do anything with any secret APIs or um, check into internal repositories. It was all open source and TypeScript from the very beginning. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is a different Microsoft, isn't it? Yeah, it's cool. And we do hear a lot about um, kind of like the new direction that things are being taken. In. Mm -hmm. And that was kind of one of the things they explained when they explained our project is that, you know, like if you were here earlier, uh, you know, like basically open source is the thing that's more novel to Microsoft, but mm -hmm. they're really buying in well. With yeah. Their new direction, yeah. Yeah, I think in the old days, we would call it closed by default, and now it's open by default. So it makes total sense for, you know, for interns to be contributing to code, and then you're going to go back to school in a couple of weeks and be able to say that your code is running on at least 4.4 million machines, yeah. which is pretty amazing. Uh, do you think you'll spend more time in VS Code and Docker and containers? Have you decided that containers are the future? Oh, yes. <laughs> containers are actually pretty great. Um, 
we hadn't actually heard from it before, and uh, in our universities they haven't been. Really, you're not emphasized. teaching containers at university? No. No. Are you going to go hopefully back and talk about Azure and containers and VS Code? Yeah, well, I mean, once we've definitely gotten involved in the space, we're learning a ton more about uh, where they're actually used. Mm -hmm. Like, even if you visit um, the Docker website right now, they average or they advertise a lot of like buzzwords like AI and stuff like that. Very cool. Where can people find the code and look at the stuff that you all did and then experiment? Because I know you have a lot more functionality that you added. Oh yes. Um, so a lot of the code we have is already public. Uh, you can already see it by going to the uh, re GitHub repository for the VS Code Docker extension. Um, it's already a lot, some of it is already in the actual code base, mm -hmm. and you can just fork it and, and download it and modify, create your own PRs if you want to. Okay, I actually have some contributors for other locations. Why don't we actually finish up by you building this and creating a build task? Okay, so uh, build tasks is something that we haven't actually implemented right now. That's something our team is currently working on. Okay. Uh, we have implemented something uh, called cloud, uh, well, which we call cloud build here. Okay. Um, it's otherwise known as ACR build, which you can use to actually build uh, Docker images in the cloud. Right. right. Uh, that was a little renaming issue, which I think you actually uh, told us about. <laughs> That's all good. So, uh, so show me what you got. So you're, you right clicked on a Docker file right there. Yes, and then we would just Select it, just uh, the subscription. Okay. And I can see down there in the output where it's going off and trying to get that subscription. Yes, after that, we'll just go for the registry. Uh, we actually have one we use a lot. We have some good naming conventions. Um, channel 9. Let's just okay. test. And so this will start a build in the... Um, in the cloud, okay, right, and then we'd actually be able to see the build. This is also something we've been working on. We've added some good accessibility features. We can see the logs for the builds, so we can go here, and we can see. It also brings up some interesting accessibility features. As I'm noticing, you scroll around a lot. It makes me wonder when someone has that many registries, if you can collapse it or filter it. Yeah. Yes, that is something we <laughs> have to work on, but it's not a very common use case as of right now. Yeah, so not yet. We're not currently um, focusing too much mm -hmm. on it. It's so is that the one that you just started right there at the top? Yeah, so that's uh, the one yes. that's running right now. Okay. So we can actually see all the builds that have already worked. This is something we had to do. It has a lot of accessibility things that we had to think about. Uh, for example, all the colors have to pass certain thresholds of like contrast. Mm -hmm. uh, things have to be very intuitive. Apparently, this little triangle isn't that intuitive yet. <laughs> working on it. Okay. Uh, you can actually see the logs of something that succeeded. Yeah, you can get color highlighting in the logs as well. Mm -hmm. Yes, so that will also facilitate some of the things. If they actually fail, there's also some color highlighting for that. Cool. Uh, yeah, so now you can actually see whether builds are working, succeeding, what happened, all within VS Code. So this is a private build, but we can go and look at the code, and it'll be probably by the time we publish this, it'll be merged into the uh, ultimate product, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's yes. the goal. Very cool. Did we miss anything else? Um, I mean, there's other management features, but. I would just say to wrap up our experience in the internship, um, for people looking into Microsoft, I just want to say it's one of the best intern programs I've experienced so far. Every wow. week yeah. there's something new to do. We've been to the Museum of Pop. We had a whole all hands with our entire organization. Mm -hmm. Went to the zoo and this countless activities. Um, it's apart from you know all the great technology and teaching, it's just a lot of fun. Very yeah. cool. Well, thanks so much for hanging out with me today. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Thank you for having us. I'm here on Azure Friday wishing that I was an intern at Microsoft. <laughs> uh, but I hope you keep watching, and I hope you follow these folks online and in their Git commits. We'll see you again next week.